Hi, I'm Mike Nichols. I run marketing for Xbox and Studios at Microsoft. So let's start by talking about the new price cut for Xbox One and what impact you hope that will have on sales moving forward. Well, we're really excited, you know, to give customers the option to buy Xbox uh, One in, in any number of configurations, including uh, with the full Connect option, which they've had at launch and now starting today for the first time available at $399 in the U.S. Uh, and we're very optimistic that, uh, that, that that's going to provide customers new options to, uh, to participate and I think they're going to be very excited about it. When it comes to the Connect, what impact will now do you feel not having the Connect and every Xbox have on developer support moving forward for that technology? Right. Well, we're very, very much committed to Connect. Uh, we're also committed to uh, responding to customer requests as well. We think that, that the increased options for Xbox One uh, for customers will hopefully appeal to a broader set of customers, uh, and then developers will have a larger base of customers to appeal to with all of their games, whether uh, optimized for Connect or not. As we enter into E3 2014, can you talk a little bit about what role exclusive games available only on Xbox One or Xbox 360 even will have on things moving forward? You bet. Well, you know, listen, people buy consoles largely for the games. You know, that's what we saw here today with the show, and that's what our focus was. Uh, and I don't think that you're going to find, you know, another, uh, another option that's going to offer so many fantastic exclusive games uh, as what we saw today here on Xbox One. And of course, this is just a piece of all those that are going to be available, uh, whether it's, you know, the Halo Master Chief Collection, the new uh, IP with Sunset Overdrive, uh, or Forza Horizon 2. Uh, you know, whether, whether you're talking about those games or the many others that, that we showed here today, uh, we think that it gives people a fantastic reason, particularly those who are Xbox 360 customers who hadn't, you know, decided it was time for them to get an Xbox One. Now's a perfect time with the, with the new price option as well as all the exclusive content uh, for them to, to, to make that choice. A lot of people are looking forward to Halo 5 that won't be coming until 2015. Talk a little about the Master Chief Collection and the new digital series and how what role that will play in keeping Halo fans satiated until then. Yeah. Well, we're really excited uh, about the ha uh, Halo Master Chief Collection. So in the collection, you'll get uh, three primary things. One, you'll get Halos 1 through 4 on one disc. Uh, number two, included in that was, is like a hundred different maps, uh, all the, the ability to play multiplayer on it, etc. Number two, uh, you, you will have the digital series uh, by, produced by Ridley Scott, and, uh, and we're very excited about that for Halo fans. What that's going to do is bridge between the games, in, in particular Halo 4, to the story of Halo 5. So it introduces a new character. And then lastly, in that, uh, in that collection, will be the ability to participate in the Halo 5 multiplayer beta. And one of the nice things about it is, you'll be able to get all of that for just $59.99.